Tevi Troy is a former Deputy Health Secretary. We invited Senator Rockefeller to join us. Uh, he's not available. It didn't provide a statement, so hope always springs eternal. Um, Secretary, what do you make of this, that now there does seem to be a concerted effort uh, uh, targeting these health insurance companies? What's going on? Well, I think um, that there was clearly a shift in strategy by the Democrats within the last month or so. They realized that there was a lot of concern about their plans, about the public option, about overly expansive and overly expensive health care. And they said, well, let's go back to basics. What's the most unpopular group, up, group out there? It's the insurance companies. So they started demonizing the insurance companies. Nancy Pelosi was calling them evil and immoral on the House floor. I and just now wondered, but let's They're Saturday. using their legislative powers to look into it. Now, I, I'm not cynical. Sorry? I'm not cynical, but I'm saying I wonder if the health insurance companies could have saved themselves this agenda if they had just written a check and gone along or started an ad campaign in, fa in favor of these reform efforts. Then I wonder if anyone would so much have written them a postcard inquiring about anything. You're saying like the pharmaceutical companies did? Exactly. Um, look, 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 it's clear that um, at the beginning there was this, an attempt to have everybody on board the bus. So let's all sing Kumbaya, get together, and let's have uh, people agree that we've got to do health reform. But once you start getting to the details or once things start getting hot in the kitchen, people um, don't necessarily agree on everything. And once they saw that there was some disagreement from the health insurance companies, for, for good reason from the health insurance companies' perspective, they've decided to aim their fire at those guys. All right, but, you know, uh, at least in the past... Um the drug companies could always come back and say, well, you know, we're saving lives, or at least in the past, the, we just had a former head of HCA here, the health company uh, hospital chain, who was saying, yeah, but, you know, you come to us and you usually come out alive. Uh, it, it, the health insurance guys don't have good PR because people think of pre-existing conditions that aren't covered. They think about portability insurance problems. They think about the stories even the president tells about having coverage yanked at the last second and uh, they can't get out of their own bad PR now that actually in reality is a minority of the issues with these guys but nevertheless it's the image that sticks what do they do well, you're right that they have bad PR, but you can always improve your PR. I mean, instead of talking about pre-existing conditions, you could talk about the millions of Americans who are insured by private insurance companies and who like their insurance. You hear something like 80% of Americans are happy with the type of insurance that they, that they have. There are people whose lives are saved every day because they have insurance, because they can afford to go to the hospital and, uh, and get treated. Your babies are born because of it. I mean, there are ways that they can improve their, uh, their PR. However, uh, they do have a bit of an uphill climb. I always thought that the, the health insurance guys should turn it around and say, if you think things stink with us, imagine what it would look like if the government did what we were doing. They should actually work that negative into a positive, but I, I guess I shouldn't offer marketing ideas, should I? Well, that's actually a great idea because, I mean, the health insurance companies, they have a profit motive. You understand that what they're doing right. is for a reason. When government does these things, it's often arbitrary. And what people are concerned of when you talk about rationing, everybody does some sort of rationing in health care. The right. problem is if the government does rationing, it seems arbitrary and capricious, and that's what people don't like. Um, I guess the... the the, the roving machine gun will just fire in another industry soon enough. Um, very good having you, Secretary. Thank you very much. Oh, thanks for having me.